welcome to your virtual ceremony celebration. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are delighted that we've been able to hold this presentation for you. Before we begin, we have some housekeeping information. We will start today's ceremony with an introduction from Vice-Chancellor Professor Tim Blackman. We will then continue with the presentation of graduates and to conclude there will be a personal address from the Vice-Chancellor. Depending on the device you are watching the broadcast on today, you will be able to change your screen view. We would suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your breakout room, but it will make the videos appear smaller as one grid screen. Please enable your microphone and keep it unmuted at your end so that you can join in the round of applause during and after each group's names are announced. The technical team will ensure your audio will not be broadcast outside of these moments. We would like to remind everyone that today's event is being recorded and it is currently being live streamed on YouTube. The recording will also be available after the event. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoy it. also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who for one reason or another have not been able to take advantages of higher education. Let's say you're one of those people. One of those who think where you start in life shouldn't limit where you go. One of those who think a university shouldn't just be, well, a university. Let's say you're one of us, and together we are the open university. Open to all of us, all of the time. Not some of us, some of the time. We are a movement of millions, a mission of one. We are disruptors, occasional troublemakers, game changers. We are the fuel for imagination, chasing comets, making the impossible, possible. We are restless in our drive to see progress that touches us all, inspiring students to become ministers and midwives, barristers and teachers, tech entrepreneurs, business gurus and more. Our cause goes beyond being an innovative way of learning and our future lies in continuing to build that cause. We are the people who open up the future of learning. This is how we shape the future. Let's say you are one of those people who believe what we believe. One of those excited by possibility. Let's say you are one of us. We can't wait to open up millions of futures. And with your help, we can. Hi, my name is Sarah Jones and I'm the Students Association President and I'd like to say how proud we are of your achievements. Like you, I have studied and completed my studies with the OU. Whilst the achievement is down to my hard work, like you, I couldn't have accomplished what I've done without the support of my friends, my family, my fellow students, my tutors and the staff at the OU. To be an OU student means balancing work, 
home, family life and studying and caring responsibilities to reach your goals is a superhuman feat. Underneath your graduation gowns and smart clothes, you all wear superhero outfits. I know many of you will have done what I did and stayed up late or got up in the wee small hours to get the final TMA submitted or tried hard to find a space and time to do remote exams. Managing the difficulties of studying alongside the extra pressures that work and life bring means your achievements must be celebrated in style. Oh, you students are remarkable. Your accomplishments overwhelm me with pride. Hearing your stories of the things that you've done come through and the things in life that has happened around you for you to be able to claim your degree. Having babies, losing loved ones, changing work and supporting families and getting that support back on the road to your degree are amazing. Today, we celebrate your success and the immense proud that you should feel in yourselves. Graduates, we salute you and we raise a glass to you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor. And I just wanted to say well done and congratulations on reaching the amazing milestone that is an Open University degree. There have been many things about this horrible pandemic that we've all been wrestling with, but I can honestly say that not being able to do degree ceremonies and meet all the amazing students at our university has been one of the big losses for me personally. I really hope that we'll be able to see each other face to face again soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that you have done an incredible thing. People talk about part time learners for the Open University, but I think we all know you are actually double time learners, often holding down jobs, often looking after family members, caring for children, dealing with tough circumstances in your own lives. So congratulations. Hallelujah. You made it. You are going to go on and do incredible and remarkable things with what you've learnt. This is just the first stage of your journey and you should be immensely proud to be ever, forever part of a network of people who have completed Open University degrees. Have a great celebration. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's virtual degree ceremony. It's wonderful you're all joining us and I hope you're all well and safe and enjoy the ceremony. By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, it's my great pleasure to declare this ceremony open for the presentation of graduates for their degrees and qualifications. I'm delighted to welcome you to today's events, our graduates, your families and your friends, and friends and supporters of the university too. Each year, in more normal times, we present graduates for their qualifications at ceremonies in towns and cities throughout England and in Belfast, Glasgow, Dublin and Cardiff. And today we're just as excited to celebrate your success in this virtual ceremony. You're graduating from the largest university, not just in the UK, but in Europe, known across the world for the quality of our courses and the determination and commitment of our students. The OU's success over 53 years is down to what you, our graduates, achieve often against the odds, and not just the qualification you're presented for today, but the difference that you'll make with it in the years ahead. So it goes without saying that this is a very important occasion in the life of you, your families and your loved ones, and my colleagues too, who I hope you'll feel have nurtured and supported you through your studies. Please do celebrate your achievement and post messages or photos on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Use the hashtag OUFamily to share with many others. We now see the presentation of graduates able to join us today, which will be followed by my personal address to you all. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual ceremony presentation. My name is Nicholas McCart and I'm Director of Operations, Student Recruitment and Fees in Academic Services. And it is my pleasure to present graduates for their qualifications today. I'd also like to welcome graduates, family, friends and staff who are watching today's live stream. I'm delighted you're joining us to celebrate the success and achievements of our students. In a moment, I'll read out the names of each group of students. Graduates, you will appear on screen in a group and your audio will be turned on. Please make sure your microphone is turned on so we can hear all your reactions and your applause at the end of your group. 
and at the end of the ceremony. Hopefully everyone join watching will be able to join in as well. Vice Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to join us today. For the degree of Master of Arts in Online and Distance Education, Henry Robinson. For the degree of Master of Arts Open, Charlotte Cooper. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Moritz Ellen. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Alexander Popovich. For the degree of Business Administration, Erica Stapelberg. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Leadership Practice, Nzinga Orgil. For the degree of Master of Science in Advancing Healthcare Practice, Jane Mann. For the degree of Master of Science in Computing, Isabel Muller. For the degree of Master of Science in Computing, Information Security and Forensic, Uchechukwu Jackson. For the degree of Master of Science in Systems Thinking in Practice, James Cracknell. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Well done, everybody. Well done, guys. Well done. Congratulations. I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities with First Class Honours, Jennifer Eustace. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Art, History and English Literature with Honours, Laura Wiskins. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Art, History and History, Joanna Gold. <laughs> <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Art, History with First Class Honours, Letitia Clulo. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Classical Studies and History with First Class Honours, Martin Murray. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Creative Writing with Honours, Gordon Griffith. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Creative Writing with Honours, Ingrid West. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities. Arts For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities English Literature with honours, Andrea Harrison. No, I don't know where. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities. Arts... For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities English Literature with honours, Esme Law. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Spanish and History with Honours, Harley Botham. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Honours, Oguchuku Ofili. Yes. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Honours, Claire Taylor. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management Economics with First Class Honours, 
Nicola Greenwood. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management Leadership Practice with First Class Honours, Beata Yazabowska. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management Leadership Practice with Honours, Rebecca Sims. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies Accounting with Honours, Denise Remy. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies with Honours, Gillian Laurie. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with First Class Honours, Thomas Barrett. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with First Class Honours, Laura Blackaby. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with First Class Honours, Carolyn Krumka. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with First Class Honours, Louise Rooney. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Rosemary Connolly. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Amanda Dunn. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Nicola Gallagher. Yay! For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Manisha Parekh. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with Honours, Joanne Durham. Cheers, everyone. Yay. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Psychology with Honours, Amy Cowden. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Psychology with Honours, Elaine Tate. Yay. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Design and Innovation with First Class Honours, Amanda Jones. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Design and Innovation with Honours, Stephanie Carpenter. Yay. Thank you. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Well done, everybody. Great job. Congratulations. 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 Well done, everyone. Be proud. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood with First Class Honours, Carrie Ann Horlock. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood with First Class Honours, Deborah Leach. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Childhood with Honours, Callie Gallagher. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Years with Honours, Amber Mayhew. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Samantha Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Charlotte Kitely. Yay. 
another one. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Rachel Rudwick. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Jennifer Sullivan. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primaries with Honours, Louisa Abbas. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with Honours, Stephanie Head. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primaries with Honours, Sally Lavelle. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primaries with Honours, Claire Roger. Well done, everybody. Congratulations. Woo! Well done, everybody. <laughs> awesome. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with honours, Claire Driver. Hey. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with honours, Stephanie Kennedy. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with honours, Laura Pitcher. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with Honours, Angela Royal. Hey, thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with Honours, Rachel Underwood. Hey. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with Honours, Alison Vesey. Hey. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature and Creative Writing with honours, Sonia Last. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature and Creative Writing with honours, Elizabeth Quick. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with honours, Linda Clark. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with Honours, Audrey Jingle. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with Honours, Danielle Harrison. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with Honours, Elizabeth McCook. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with Honours, Sharon Trivet. Yeah, well, For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities English Literature with First Class Honours, Charles Hume. Hey, thank you. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities Music with Honours, Shabazz Hussein. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Well done, everybody. Well done. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. I know For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Studies with honours, Julie Prince. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with English and French with honours, Kevin Sheehan. For 
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with English and German with honours, Bing Cressman. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with English and Spanish with first class honours, Susanna Kaya Martin. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with French and Spanish with honours, Elena Svilazzo. Elena Svilazzo, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with German and Spanish with first class honours, Fatima Mogra. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Leadership and Management with honours, Michelle Alexander. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Leadership and Management with honours, Louise Byers. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Music with First Class Honours, Ruth Keach. Thank you. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Psychological Studies with First Class Honours, Paul Copeman. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences Psychology with Honours, Sarah Reedy. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences Sociology with Honours, Fiona Colvin. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Engineering and Bachelor of Laws degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with First Class Honours, Sarah Blackburn. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with First Class Honours, Jennifer Ioannadel. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Cheryl Arnott. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Catherine Burrell. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Ruth Hassel. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Jennifer Jeffers. Oh, no. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Stacy Kelly. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts with Honours, Savannah Yune. For the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Christopher Scott. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Nicola Baxter. For the degree of for the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Jack Grono. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Zoe Kennedy. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Princess Nkrumah. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Leticia Rodriguez. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Well done, well done everyone. Well done. I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. 
For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology with first class honours, Stephen Peirce. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology with honours, Emma Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Mark Crenshaw. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Jana Leach. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Stacy McKay. <laughs> for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Lucy Pearson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Jeffrey Ray. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Helene Rocha. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Yeva Zinkovicute. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Safina Ahmed. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Farina Akhtar. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Tracy Gibson. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Laurent Gorse. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Narkesal Kendall. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Emma Lucas. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Elena Marculi. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Dana McLean. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. Good. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Louise McElroy. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Melissa Moore. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Immaculate Moyo. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Kimberly Rain. It's my bet. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with honours, Augustus Reed. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Rebecca Shuttleworth. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Carlene Charles. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Gina Freeman. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Darcy Greveler. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, 
Fatima Hatam. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Olivia Durans. Yay! For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Natalie Kilborn. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Amanda McIntosh. Everyone. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Vola Shade Aliawalai. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Giulia Pulicino. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Janine Rennie. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Taylor Jane Eldred. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, everyone. <laughs> I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport, Fitness and Coaching with Honours, Paul Crane. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport, Fitness and Coaching with Honours, Corrie Johnson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Sport, Fitness and Coaching with Honours, Martin Ross. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with First Class Honours, Lisa Christie. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with First Class Honours, Joanna Lazenby. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with First Class Honours, Jude Shepherd. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Heather Bedson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Jane Cassidy. Yay. At last. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Gemma Darville. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Rachel Doné. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Lisa Heathcote. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Joanne Kent. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Kimberly Thwaites. For the degree of Bachelor of Science with Honours, Jane Wedderkop. Here, Eric. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Well done, everybody. I shall now present graduates who have gained foundation degrees and diplomas of higher education. For a foundation degree in healthcare practice, Michaela Wood. Hey. For a foundation degree in nursing associate practice, Carrie Johnson. Live on Facebook now is what for the Diploma of Higher Education in Arts and Humanities, Tanya Fawaz Jamal. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Business Management, 
Naomi Cameron Wyatt. <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education in Business Management, Shanice Pearson. <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education in Business Management, Ralph Piller. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Early Childhood, Stephanie Gardner. Yay! <laughs> For the Diploma of Higher Education in Health and Social Care, Nicola Abramides. I beg your pardon, Nicola Abramides. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Psychology, Jennifer Herring. Congratulations, everybody. Well done. Thank you. Well done, well done everybody. Thank you. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Graduates. They will now follow a personal message from the Vice Chancellor, Professor Tim Blackman. Please keep your microphone on as we come back to you for a huge round of applause following this address, which will conclude today's ceremony. Thank you, Nicholas. Well, firstly, and most importantly, congratulations. Thank you for joining us on this very special day to recognize what you've achieved. Each of you is truly extraordinary. I believe that today you are the most amazing body of graduates anywhere in the world. You've believed in yourselves and we've believed in you, all of us, your dedicated associate lecturers and advisors, the expert academics who write your courses, the designers and technologists who bring them to life on screen, and all the professional services that make the OU what it is, second to none. And now you've shown what that belief can achieve. Almost every one of you studied alongside other responsibilities and commitments, often while in demanding jobs with children or as a carer. And I know it's sometimes been tough. That would be the case in normal times, let alone getting through a pandemic. No wonder employers tell us that what they like about OU graduates is that you're self-starters and determined. You've juggled study and deadlines with many other demands. But you know, I've been told that there is one thing that's harder than being an OU student, and that's living with one. When we started back in 1969, our pioneer students and staff really were taking a step into the unknown, putting their faith in a university that was using new methods of teaching and would be open to everyone. We wanted our students to choose us, not us to select them, what matters to us is that you're ready to study and above all, that you've got the ambition to learn. Until you progress to postgraduate or research degrees, the only question we ask you for most of our courses is, do you want to learn? You all said yes, and that gave us our mission. Many thought the OU would fail, but instead it's now one of the most successful universities in the world with over 2 million students who've studied with us. That's not just a university, it's a social movement. It's you, our students, who make the OU, but we're, we also owe a huge debt of gratitude to the vision of the university's founders. Foremost among them was Jenny Lee, to whom Prime Minister Harold Wilson gave the job of setting up the university, and a woman whose own journey from a Scottish mining community to Minister of State shaped in no small measure what the OU is today. Jenny Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everyone, rich or poor, man or woman, black or white, and it would do that while maintaining the highest standards. No one would be able to criticize the OU for dumbing down. You, our graduates, have achieved those high standards of scholarship and professional practice that Jenny Lee was determined we'd maintain while opening up that opportunity to more people than ever before. And she was determined too, that we would be a respected research university, currently ranked among the top third of research universities in the UK, making discoveries, inventing new products and methods, and enabling us to understand each other better and live together peacefully and without endangering our planet. 
curiosity and experimentation are what drive us. And I'm so glad that you chose to join that most human of adventures, learn and live, as it says on the university crest. Some of you joined us because you were curious. Many were looking to advance or change your career. You'll find OU graduates in every employment sector, often at the highest level or already at the highest level. It was fantastic to have Olympic double gold medal rower James Cracknell graduating with us today. And you'll also find thousands of businesses started by OU graduates as well. We've recently measured the economic impact of the OU. Every pound we spend produces a return of six pounds. Most of that return is the higher lifetime earnings that OU graduates achieve, but there's also a social return. Graduates are on average healthier and happier than non-graduates, more likely to participate in their community or in politics, and much less likely to be taken in by misinformation. And the OU has a social mission to bring learning to people, whoever and wherever they are. That's why we partner with the BBC to produce programmes like Hospital or Blue Planet 2. It's why we make available hundreds of free short courses on OpenLearn and FutureLearn, taken by millions of people and for many, a lifeline during this pandemic. Across England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, we work with employers, community organisations and trade unions to reach people where they are so that they can take their first steps into higher education. We work with carers organisations, the armed forces, prisons, job centres, sports clubs, colleges and schools, constantly innovating in how we provide higher education. If you're an Uber driver, for example, Uber will pay you and your family to study with the OU. And if you watched Springwatch on the BBC, the garden survey of insect pollinators that Chris Packham invited viewers to take part in was run by the OU's award-winning citizen science web platform called Inquire. Completion of your qualification means you join a community of Open University alumni around the world. You can continue to keep up with news, access career advice or come back to study. The motto on the university's crest, learn and live, is a call to action. To learn and by learning to really live. Please do good with what you've learned and encourage others to learn and live as well. As you sign off today, you'll hopefully become an ambassador for the Open University and all that is remarkable about our institution and what it stands for. Its values of social and environmental justice, its belief in inclusion and diversity, and above all, its vision to be open to people, places, methods and ideas. Do share your experience with others. Let them know what your journey has meant to you and what it could mean to them. We're hugely proud of you. Well done. You're all amazing. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. <laughs> Well done. Many congratulations. Well done, thanks. Well done. Congratulations. Well done. Many congratulations. Well done, everyone. Many congratulations. Well done. Many congratulations. Well done, everyone. Well done, everyone. Congratulations. Keep on going. Yay. Well done, guys. Well done. That concludes today's celebrations. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. Do please stay in touch with us via our alumni, careers and students association teams. On behalf of the Ceremony Centre and everyone at the Open University, we wish you every success for the future. <laughs> <laughs>